Turner from Fort Worth, Texas asked, what happened to your Dion hype after Colorado crawled to the finish line? It disappeared, Turner. That's what happened. There was a lot of hype around Colorado earlier in the year, and then they lost a lot of games, and the hype was gone, and I didn't talk about them anymore because they weren't worth talking about at the end of the year because you didn't care at the end of the year, Turner. What happened to your hype? I see the traffic patterns on our videos. Earlier in the year, it was fishing with dynamite, and the dynamite was laced with cocaine. That was what that content was doing in the public arena. I could have just said the name Deion Sanders for 10 minutes straight and you would have clicked on it. Then all of a sudden they started losing games and we did some Colorado content and it didn't perform well. And so as I usually do, I listened to you, Turner and company. Uh, you told me don't talk about Colorado anymore. So I didn't. And they lost their final two, four, six, eight games. That's what happened. Now, there was something that some people were doing in the early part of this season they were saying ludicrous things that didn't need to be said. When they beat TCU, I was surprised. And then they beat Nebraska, and I was very happy and elated for them. And then they ended up, was that the week, I think week three maybe, the week four they went to Oregon. Um, they just got totally annihilated. And they put up a good fight against the USC, but they lost that game too. It was downhill then, and it had been downhill ever since. They didn't have the depth. Attrition got to them. The length of a season got to them. But what happened early in the season with Dion in Colorado is everyone wanted to outtake each other. And that's one pool I'm glad I didn't jump into. We talked about them on virtually every show. But all I did was comment on what was going on. I didn't try and project. I didn't tell you they're about to go eight wins. I didn't tell you they're a contender in the Pac-12 I didn't tell you Dion's the next in line for Nick Saban or, or Dion should, should have been hired at fill in the blank instead of so-and-so. I didn't do any of that because it was premature. I didn't do any of it about the team because they weren't ever going to be that. Uh, the eyeballs didn't fool me that much, but uh, some people did, and uh, I, they know who they are. And you know what? If you want to go hate on them, Turner, go ahead, and I'll probably retweet it for you. But go back. All our videos are still public. Go back and check out our Dion videos. They'll come right to the top. If you filter for viewership, by the way, they'll pop up really quickly. They're some of our most viewed videos. Go find my ridiculous take on Colorado and Dion. I didn't say anything other than what was going on. I said it was the biggest story in college football in the first month of the season. That's not even debatable. I said it was a great story. It was surprising because it was to me. I thought TCU was going to run them out of the building. So if anything, I doubted Colorado was wrong but I did not hardcore knee-jerk react and say that they were going eight wins, nine wins, anything like that. Um, I, I, look, I thought we were pretty fair on it. And the hype was there for a while, and the hype was gone very quickly thereafter because they weren't a good football team. And then I also said, and I just thought about this now, I said people are about to recalibrate their expectations. There were people who thought they may not win one or two games who now that they've won a couple, now they're going to say, oh, Dion can't make a bowl game. And if he doesn't make the bowl game, they'll call him a failure. He was not a failure this year. Colorado was not a failure this year. They improved this year. Uh, they may improve again next year. You don't go from one win to 10 wins overnight. And anyone who understands how football works and how roster building works understand, understands it's a long, arduous process. And you may rebuild a receiver room, through the portal, you may DBs, you may go DBs in the portal. You're not building an offensive line worth anything in the portal at this level. You're not building a defensive line worth anything at this level out of the portal. You won't do that. The next team that does it will be the first team that does it. And so I'm not telling Deion Sanders anything he may not know. I think I'm telling some folks things they don't know, though. So I don't think we hyped him up too much. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you guys will find that. <laughs> 